CSW Futures Division Battle Royale, an opportunity for many of these individuals in Chicago style wrestling, based off of audience approval, as well as the opportunity to get a roster spot. It's a chance to get discovered in a crazy, violent environment. All weight classes are invited, and into this particular battle, it is every man for themselves. And in the past, Kevin Woods and uh, Mike Fierro were the ones who were victorious in a tag team match that involved the likes of Cypher and Kryptonite Cave. Everyone is in top gear here. It's about showing off what you can do, the work rate, and having a fighting spirit. There's a lot of athletic skill being demonstrated here. And you got to have a combination of things. You have to have a look, you have to have personality, the it factor. If you're going to grab attention in this environment very quickly, you have to do it your way. And the learning curve in CSW is very quick. Some new stars involved in this one. The masked man, Panorama, is a part of this. Who are Rama? That guy's a former MMA fighter, high flying with great power moves as well. Man. Is that the guy with the with, with, the, with the, the tattoos all over himself? They even have a very small combatant entering the first time you see him on the far there side. Saban Gage is in this match, a high flyer himself. Is he been eliminated? No, he hasn't been eliminated. Lee Metallic going after one of our newest stars, Sheldon. Who? Sheldon, I believe his name is. Cypher is just slapping. Mass man against another mass man. It is Gobaldi in the corner getting smashed in the head repeatedly by Panorama. Primo Loco is in the corner against another heavyweight, Mike Fierro, who is an odds on favorite. Stan, remember Mike Fierro, one of the strongest inside free agents in the world, impressive upper and lower body strength, free mobility and agility for a heavyweight, larger than life, amazing athlete and personality. German suplex cypher last time around. This is a serious threat in this sort of match. And he could be the future of pro wrestling. He's got a lot of passion for this sport. And he might be a big threat in Chicago style wrestling. Axel Rico in the red suffered an elimination last month, was not a factor in the Futures Division Royal. And incidentally, hey. himself and Marco Anthony were involved in a that. very quick match. That took place last time around at Chicago style wrestling. One month oh earlier, my goodness, look at back all the in January, on that guy. 19. Brian Matthews in the far corner going to war with Jay Thunder and Primo Loco. He walked away. And Perrella has suffered the elimination at the hands of Bo Baldy. Currently in the ring, Kevin Woods and Cypher squaring off one-on-one. -on -one. Meanwhile, we've got Mike Fierro planning a running attack, but he missed against Lee Metallic in the corner. Bo Baldy's going to he says he's beautiful, Stan. Brian Matthews does think he's beautiful. Well, how true is that? That's another situation at hand. Well, he's a man. How, how is a man going to be beautiful, huh? Well, he's got a what picture. the hell kind of society do we live in where these snot-nosed kids are growing up to think that they could be beautiful if they're male? He's got a big picture of his own head and wow, the terrible fall right there. Mike I don't want to leave the house anymore. Leave metallic to his demise. So he's out, and now the match is already dwindled down to Seven participants in the past stand. We have dwindled down the two, sometimes four participants, and then they had a consequent match that determined whether or not they had a future in CSW. This time around, a little bit different, of course, the tag team rules that has been a recent figurehead in these sorts of matches. When the last four participants are determined, the CSW officials will inform us via text and otherwise of the pairings for the tag team match that will commence. And from there, we're going to settle it all and figure out which one of these futures has, has any potential in Chicago style wrestling going forward. It's well, that simple. Let me tell you something about potential. I see a few people, out. finalists in other previous Futures Division Battle Royales, and they, like Ryan uh, Matthews, there's Kryptonite Kid, Kevin Woods, they've been finalists in other Futures Division Battle Royals, and very rarely does someone win multiple. Last month, we had a slugfest that occurred between the three heavyweights, and they continue to collide here. It's one month later, and we still have Jay Thunder against the odds against Mike Fierro and Cypher, and Jay Thunder stand Primo over 265, 275 pounds. True, but Primo Loco, I'm 
sorry. Uh, but I'm, a, I'm a winner! You are a winner every I'm day change. of your I'm life. I'm going to come back and I'm going to get a victory speech. What a name there! A victory speech by Primo Loco, even though he's been eliminated. Well, Jay Thunder is out, so now we are officially down to five individuals. Once the final participant has been lofted out of this ring, we're going to get it all down to the final four. And then when a tag team match will arbitrarily be assigned based on the Is that what the they sent you via text message? Is that what they just sent you? And look at this. They all realize Mike Carroll is the strongest in this ring, and he has just upended all four of the others. He doesn't look so beautiful now, does Ryan? I don't know. Mike Farrell started an attack so badly that uh, Ryan Matthews started screaming like a girl. What was wrong with him? Just like a girl. Was his nail polish ruined? Did he have, oh, uh, no, don't tell me the guy wears nail polish. Did he have his hair did and he has to have it done again or something? Look at this! Four-way elimination! They there it is! Hey, it's Harrell's out! That's We're down it. to the final four we got to settle this. Ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the final four. And it's going to become a tag team match at this point in time. On the 22nd day of February, 30 years and two days removed from Ricky Steamboat winning the NWA title from Ric Flair. We're down to the final four. CSW officials have informed me of the pairings for this upcoming tag team match. Kevin Woods, you're going to like the tag team partner this time around. Is that what they said in the text? Cypher to join forces against the Tag Team Alliance of the Kryptonite Kid and Matthews Tag Team Match right now! What are they doing? Who are the decision makers here? Kenton, let me see that cell phone right now. I don't believe Oh, wait, yeah. Well, these people are out of their mind. Cypher should be taking on three of them instead of a tag team match. This, this, this doesn't seem fair. Final four, we got a lot of oddities here involved in this one. Remember, Cypher and Kryptonite Kid were tag team partners. Now they're on opposite sides of this one. And remember, Kevin Woods and Ryan Matthews at one time teamed up to win a Futures Division Royal themselves. I think yes. the fans are going to show some... They're going to show some love for Kevin Woods because a lot of people are scouting him based on his athletic talent. And when he grows some size, then he could be a serious player in Chicago style wrestling. Well, let me Very tell you smart, something. Skilled, technical, and focused. Let me tell you something significant in regards to this match. This is the second time Ryan Matthews has been a finalist in a Futures Division Battle Royal. A third time for Chris Knight Kid to be a finalist in these Battle Royals. And this is a fourth time for Kevin Woods. So let's see. Continue, okay. Continual advancement inside of the squared circle for these individuals and the versatility of Kevin Woods being all fired up and being having those leadership qualities, those intangibles. He can wrestle different gears, a variety of different styles. True. And he has won the last CSW Futures Royal with Mike Fierro. So it's clearly Kevin Woods has a chip on his shoulder. He's, he's thinking good about the situation. For Ryan Matthews had a hand a match with TJ Steele last month that almost stole the show. Ooh, that big monster, Cypher, has been tagged in. New matchup, and check this out. The two monstrous entities, the two wild guys, they make weird characters as well. Cypher, the monster, the seven foot tall, brick wall of abuse, the master of the wonder killer, going after him. And bouncing them around like a like a basketball in this gym. Like a basketball in a gym in a high school gym. Right here at Garen Prep. At 8001 West Belmont. Did you hear that chop stand? This guy's got oh, I hear unbelievable him all. size I hear and power. It. As he throws Crypt and I kid with ease across the ring. He is such a major threat. He can beat opponents quickly. He can waste the entire CSW roster with his bare hands and throw them on body bags. That's how scary this guy is. Kenton, I'm just glad I'm not wrestling anymore. I'm glad Take I'm here with you. Forget about Back here. Ryan Matthews. Oh, he's around here like a rag doll, courtesy of Cypher. And I don't even think Kevin Woods has to tag himself back into the ring. But he did. The Futures Division, a following for Ryan Matthews, the amateur wrestling credentials in the past. He has a huge head, Stan. He thinks he's beautiful, loud and annoying. Speaking of a huge head, very squeamish yeah. in terms of his vocals. Well, look to the left of your camera, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, your camera view. You can see Ryan's big head, just like Kenton articulated, so articulated. They attack 
from behind unnecessarily by the kryptonite kid to Kevin Woods back. Gave Ryan Matthews a chance to score with the gun red suplex for his two count. A near fall could have caused a negative result. And can you imagine if Cypher loses this match and isn't in the ring? Oh, He's going no. to eat Kevin oh, Woods no, no. for a small snack well, how after do you know? this is over. Well, how do you know, Kenton? I know because he looks hungry over there. Have uh, you seen that? Have you ever seen some massive before? Oh, wait, maybe you're right. He's He's having his head. With all the potential in the world, unpredictable. Kamikaze style. Always in motion. Face pain. Evil intentions. A frantic man. He did not hold a mental case. And he changes demeanor quickly. Such speed. Very resilient. And now is stretching. Poor Kevin Woods. But and that right arm and shoulder very badly. Kenton, he had him in a Boston Crab and he didn't have it locked in long enough. That's a rookie mistake that these rookies are making. But in time, hopefully he'll overcome that. You answer your own question. Why do you think they're making mistakes? Well, they're new, Stan. Look, I never made a mistake. That's what makes this so interesting, Don't you Stan. Give you can play Monday if morning I never made a mistake, then they don't have to make a mistake either. All right. All right. No, you're you know, making me dizzy. You know, the trainers of CSW, they expect the very, very best exactly. of the upcoming stars of the ring. You're not on some WWE show on uh, a Monday night or whatever. I told you're Stan. here in CSW. You're in Chicago. These invitational style matches are in design in such a way that multiple individuals with zero to five years experience can participate in this match. And they don't necessarily have to be from the CSW locker room. They You're right. be from anywhere on this globe. We've seen Lucha Libre performers. We've seen strongmen. We've, We've seen, seen globalists, too. Absolutely. GPW We've seen people from the Southlands. Trainees in this. Brian Matthews dragging down Kevin Woods with a suplex. My friend in the referee a back suplex. did not see the pin. The official doesn't know if he should restrain Cypher and tell him off with the rules. Oh, oh, I'm not. sure he knows. I'm sure he knows. The match They're really working between over these his final back, four, they're putting it all out there to try to prove who is the very best. How much longer can Kevin Woods back take the punishment being delivered? As we see, both individuals are down. And a nice cross body on each other. As it looks to me as though both of them not each other senseless. And now, this is the most intriguing situation I think. If Cypher and Kryptonite Kid get involved in this, what the heck is going to happen here? Is the whole ring going to implode? Look at this stare now. No effect on the monster. Whoa, he's Cypher is like a... The Cypher grabbed it by the hair. Reminds me of a telephone pole. Oh, Look how no. big this guy is. Watch out! Joke slam! The crowd ooing and eyeing with every moment here. Why is it Ryan helping his partner? And I believe that Cypher is motioning to Kevin Woods. Do your thing and show your house off the top rope. This shows you that the big man isn't so psycho after. There's a method to his madness. Watch out! Oh, a frog man. splash! Who knew that once could do that? He won it! He did it! Kevin Woods has won his fourth Futures Division Battle Royale. Cypher his first. What the heck just happened to Ryan Matthews? Mike Fierro's back! Mike Fierro was not Final four, and he's gonna take it out on everybody. Somebody ring the bell. Ring the bell. Make him stop. Barrel's had it. He's going after everything that moves, including Kevin Woods. Up in the air. Oh my goodness, he just dominated him down on the mat. Mike Barrel's not gonna be second place winner for anybody. Chris Slam. What power by this man. And now. The stare down between the big man. Stan, it's gonna happen. Zero it's versus gonna happen. one on one. Did you see that headbutt? Yeah. Is he gonna try the little maker of this big humongous super heavyweight monster? He hit it! White Zero is a beast of a man. Nobody can stop him. One of the most impressive decisions.
displays of superhuman strength. And Mike Fiero is done playing around, done being a future. He wants to be a focal point in Chicago-style wrestling in any and all divisions. What an incredible mess of bodies we have here. It's like a crime scene. We draw the bodies on the ground with chalk. You get the forensic evidence. Miranda Wright, get out here and start arresting people, please. What are you doing here? And some people are walking out of here like zombies and mummies out of the horror quick. What is this, Sam? I don't know what it, I don't know what's going on. But I got my eye on Mike Brennan. I'm suspicious, especially after he pulled his crap the past couple times with those globe. Oh my goodness. No, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut here. I don't want to see the wrong thing. Gratitude towards the combatants who ended up winning this thing. Well, in fact, be told, there's oh, a new enemy. How precious. Oh, how precious. Kevin, we got a very sore loser as a matter of fact. I'm keeping an eye on you, man.